Breaking this morning, a violent and potentially deadly night downtown. We're following multiple overnight shootings, one which happened in the last 60 minutes. And showers and storms moved through. Now we're looking at the second round of rain making its way in. Protesting for Palestine and a local professor. How SIUE students are supporting their teacher after an injury during campus demonstrations. Today in St. Louis, Weekend Edition starts right now. This is Today in St. Louis, focused on you. Well, it's 6 o'clock on the dot, and we begin with breaking news this morning. We're following a downtown shooting that happened within the last hour. You're taking a live look at that scene right now at 20th and Palm. That's in North St. Louis. Police say a 32 year old man was shot multiple times. You can see the caution tape there. You see police in tactical gear. Right now, that man is conscious and breathing. Our newsroom is working to get more information about this incident. But again, this is there on Elm there in North St. Louis. You can see that caution tape and police officers with flashlights in their hand. They're kind of canvassing that area. We're going to bring you up to speed once we learn more. But first, thanks so much for waking up with this morning. I'm Travis Cummings. And I'm Mercedes McKay. We'll continue to follow this breaking news story throughout the morning. But for now, let's check in with meteorologist Tracy Henson for your morning forecast. And Tracy, it is Cinco de Mayo. Yeah. People may want to patio <laughs> it. Is it a good day to patio? Uh, yeah, you know, it is going to feel pretty uh, sticky outside, especially all of that rainfall. So just get ready to sweat wherever you spend time outside. Not today. sweat. Not sweat. Not <laughs> sweat. <laughs> so I I don't like that. <laughs> Zero I, don't, I don't like that. All right. <laughs> All right. Now, as you can see here on our radar view, we have this next round of rainfall. It is slow moving. This is not getting us anytime soon. It is not in a hurry. It is in Texas into Oklahoma, making its way up into Kansas. That'll eventually slide over into us, but it's going to take its time. We are nice and dry right now. We had lots of rumbles of thunder yesterday, came through around 3 to 5 o'clock. It was a little earlier than I'd hoped for. I was hoping more of our Kentucky Derby celebrations would stay nice and dry, but no such luck. Uh, temperature wise outside, we are waking up at 56 degrees. It does feel crisp outside for now. Once we get into the heating of the day, it is going to feel quite humid. Winds out of the north at five miles per hour. Through the rest of our day today in St. Louis, we will make it up into the mid to upper 70s. Good mix of sun and clouds, and it does look like we're going to stay dry throughout most of the day. That is an update from yesterday because now those showers and storms, instead of coming in this afternoon, are going to come in much later tonight. Tracy, thank you for that first look. This morning, we're following three other overnight shootings in downtown St. Louis around 1030 an 18 year old was shot in his lower back here along South Compton. They are close to Minnesota Avenue. 15, just before midnight, a woman was shot in the leg here along Coleman Avenue, and both of those victims are recovering right now. But the third scene here along Minnesota Avenue was possibly fatal. Police say around 1025, a man in his 20s was shot in the chest and stomach and hospitalized with critical injuries. Right now, it's being investigated as a homicide. Well, it's graduation weekend at SIUE, but some students aren't focused on commencement. They spent yesterday's ceremonies rallying in support of a local professor. You can see some of that video here. That local professor was badly hurt when police broke up last weekend's pro-Palestine protest at WashU. This morning, our Megan Kernan takes us inside the demonstrations. SIUE students held a March for Palestine Saturday afternoon outside of the building where multiple graduation ceremonies were taking place. About 50 people peacefully protested around campus, mainly to honor Dr. Steve Tamari, a 65 year old history professor at SIUE who was arrested and sent to the hospital after a protest at WashU last week. We are here in support of Dr. Steve Tamari who was brutalized by the police at the WashU campus um, for simply doing his duty of documenting what was going on. Five on your side obtained video showing what happened one week ago. You can see Tamari was taking a video on his phone right before the incident unfolded. During the police response, Tamari says he was, quote, body slammed and crushed by the weight of several St. Louis County police officers and then dragged across campus. Tamari says one doctor told him he's lucky to be alive. 
Tamari's wife says he's out of the hospital now, but suffered nine broken ribs and a broken hand, which will need surgery. After seeing what happened to him, it was just devastating. I mean, so many people on campus love that man. We have not heard anything from the administration in regards to what happened there. They won't even say his name. When a student gets in a car crash, I get an email about it and it says, oh, we hope this person gets better. But for Dr. Tamari, who's a professor and a beloved professor at that, who's had so much impact on people, they didn't say anything. Though the protest had already ended peacefully, SIUE diverted the next group of graduates out the back exit out of caution. I still think we got our word across. We had some people come up and thank us for being out here and supporting us. But Connor Wagner says the protest was also met with criticism. We had people here complaining that we were doing this outside of commencement and we were ruining their graduation. But these kids in Gaza don't even get graduations. In Edwardsville, Megan Kernan, Five on Your Side. Now, Five on Your Side has reached out to St. Louis County Police for more information on the professor's arrest. Last night, SIUE responded saying it cannot comment on a situation that happened at another university's campus. Right now, police are searching for the suspect in a deadly hit and run in St. Louis Vandevenor neighborhood. Police say Friday night, a woman and another person were waiting for a ride on Whittier and Page. When it arrived, the pair walked across traffic to get to in. That's when an unknown car hit the woman and drove off. She was pronounced dead on the scene. We'll keep you updated as we learn more. And this morning, a man is behind bars after police say he threatened to bomb a Walmart. It happened Wednesday night at the store off Highway 47 in Troy, Missouri. You're getting a look at the map there. Police say Riley Hunt ran through the store shouting about having a bomb on him. Officers did not find any explosives at that scene, and they later arrested Hunt at his home. At this time, he's being held without bond. Well, this morning, water is still flowing after a water main break early Friday morning. This is the scene at Penrose and Blair. You can see it as crews work to make repairs. They've decreased the flow a little, but they say it'll be a while before the scene is dry again. Right now, the mayor's office says there's no need for people in that area to take any precautions.